it's your girl Serena. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not, welcome back. You can go kick it with me, and you can party with the crew. But baby, that's your choice. I ain't gonna tell you what to do. You run around the city, you've been messing with a dude. But he a lame, baby. Let me show you how I move. Cause I'm just saying, I'm just living my life. So as you see from the title, I'm just gonna go ahead and do another get ready with me, but. Instead of a like get ready with me for high school or something like that, I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me while I'm answering like y'all's questions, that's topics or whatever to talk about throughout this video because I haven't done a talk through video in a while. My knots are bleaching on this wig from Gamay Hair, I believe is the name. All the links will be down in the description box. You can watch me turn this hair into the best thing ever. I'm gonna get to y'all when this when I'm done bleaching them knots and then I'm gonna pluck it. A little bit, not too much because, yeah, I don't got time for that right now. So this is what I'm looking like right now. I'm going to keep these lashes on right now because I don't feel like taking them off and putting them back on. So I posted Give Me Topics on my Instagram. And I got quite a few of these. So let's just get into it. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom bottom. Oh, this is a good one. So this is the hair. I'm thinking about doing a half up, half down because... I don't know, just never did one of those before. I obviously over bleach <laughs> or like it got too liquidy. So, and I'm not dying it back black. So, yeah, it's just gonna have to. I'm gonna just cut this lace off. So, the first topic is how to deal with exes in the same school as you. So, none of y'all know this except unless you like know me. I have exes, okay, and I've never had beef, well, beef or like hate towards any exes until this year, right? Like, well, I mean, okay, all my exes I've had a little bit of impro a problem with after we broke up. Not every single one, but quite a bit, alright? I've never had hatred or nothing like that built up like, to, like bad t to where it's mutual, let me just say mutual, because I've hated someone that didn't hate me before. But I've had a mutual one recently. Dealing with it is difficult if y'all, well, if you, not really y'all, but like, you really like that person. I got this idea from Leah Lee. <laughs> got it from CBS. And I don't know how they work it, though. But yeah, so I really like that person, right? So we broke up. Whatever happened, we broke up. And then it was kind of weird because... He hated me. Not not when we first broke up though. I did some some, some messed up jump. So then he hated me. Alright? So cool. Boom. See him every day. When I tell you I did not see him last year. Leah. So you ain't tell me it was gonna have all this motherfucking. But how I really dealt with it was I just went with the flow. Like I was clearly hurt. I don't know if everyone knows, but me and my friends knew that I was hurt off the situation, right? And I didn't want dude to hate me. Not because I wanted to be with him, okay? Not because I wanted to be with him. Just because we had a good connection. I don't care what he said. We had a good connection. And that's just on period. Yes, yeah, so I was like, oh man, I'm going to miss my friend. I'm miss. i going to miss him as a friend. Not necessarily miss him as a boyfriend. Because the boyfriend, I didn't like him as a boyfriend. I didn't even cap on here. Like, y'all. We was better off as friends. Like, we should just been... Friends with benefits, never dated, none of that, because it's not it. <laughs> I just say, be the bigger person, because this is what I did, and I'm pretty sure he still hates me as of today. But, be the bigger person, and just stop caring about it. Because, if anything's meant to be, it'll always come back, or, it was a lesson. And I take that relationship as a lesson, because... It went fast. If y'all hate each other or something like that, be the bigger person. Or if you don't want to do that, then just act like they're not there. No. That's how I necessarily deal with it because we still go to school together now. And I don't have a problem with them. I don't really care. I don't be paying attention to nothing like that. It's just a normal person. Like, I just wish things didn't go down they did to where we even hate each other in the first place. Like, you know? All these X things. Okay, topic on getting revenge. <laughs> like, to an X. So, like... I don't necessarily know what that means. Like, I've never tried to get revenge. 
One only thing I've done is like is if I got cheated on, I just cheated back. That's revenge, right? But my way of revenge is I don't let them know about it. You just gotta play victim, okay, people. That's all. <laughs> I've been grinding on this road too long I'm trying to find my way back home The old me is dead and gone Dead and gone Yeah, personally, don't get revenge on nobody Like, it's just trifling and karma's real Okay, so the next one is future plans So my whole life, I've wanted to be a pediatrician That's the child's doctor, if you didn't know, right? But my whole life, like, for a long time, I've wanted to be that Recently, I have changed it because, you know, I've gotten into making money without working from somebody, like for you, from YouTube. And I see that it's possible that you can make money without actually having to work for someone or for an actual company. So, my number one choice is to be an entrepreneur, for one. But I still do want to go to college and get a degree. I don't even I don't know if I want to get a degree in psychology or a degree in business and get a business license to where I can um um own a franchise. Like I want to always do YouTube or in um the um influencer nature. But I also want to have a real legit something in case this goes out. So that's why I want to own a franchise, like own a Juicy Crab or a McDonald's or something. And then, not own it, but own the location, you know, in the city or state. Because if I do that, then I'll obviously get money from that. And I will have my own business, that, and my own, own business. And then doing YouTube at the same time and doing influencer things like one day I want to get on YouTube black like, I don't know how I'm gonna get on there but I'm gonna get on there and yeah I just need to stop slacking I believe in myself pretty much my law my big big goal is to pass this SAT that's in like two weeks and I need to study pass that apply to colleges get into a college that I want to go to go to college I don't know if I'm gonna live on campus or live off campus yet I think I'm gonna live on campus for the first semester maybe and then the second semester um get in a little apartment with a few friends roommates if we go to the near the same college this is pre-plucked this looks good okay i'm messing with it i'm messing with it okay topic on boys so i have two little brothers right like i'm gonna start from the beginning of a, of a boy they are so literally like destructive, loud, and just, I, I don't know, like, but then I have little, I'm not picking in my nose, but then I have little sisters, which they're one, and they're not as bad, but I can actually tell that they have attitudes, you know, so like, it's a lose-lose when it comes to a kid, it's no difference in my opinion, except the obvious difference, like, I don't care which one I have, but recently I've been leaning towards a girl because, I don't know, like, boys in general, like, now my age, they tend to break hearts and think it's cute or or pretend to be gay, which is nothing wrong with being gay, but if you're straight, why are you mocking gay? Like, you, that's, that means you're gay if you ask me, because... Who that who what a boy that's not actually gay can go up to a boy, kiss them, or touch their butt or touch their pee pee and do all this other stuff and then say they're not gay and get so mad that I called you gay because you're you're showing me that you're gay. What do you mean? Like, what do you mean? I don't get boys, they're backwards. Like the only girls that pretend gay is a gay girl. Like, oh, I just don't like boys and they're like a different species, like they're dumb. They're so dumb. Literally retarded. Like they're stupid. I'm sorry. If you're a boy and you're watching this. Uh. Excuse me. I don't know. But one day I'm going to have to marry a man. So. Topic on fake friends. So. I am not a freaking fake friend like Jedi. Like I don't. 
really know when someone's fake. Well, I'm lying. I know when someone's fake, but I can't really point it out to y'all, like, talking right now. Like, certain things that a person does, you can tell if they're fake. <laughs> if you ever feel iffy about a girl and or something, then either she doesn't like you, or she's fake, or she's plotting. Like, there's no way around that. Like, girls, it's pretty straightforward with girls. Maybe because I'm a girl. A girl that always makes it seem like there's like a competition or it feels like she's not happy for you or she downs you off of your success. You know, like little stuff like that you can tell if a girl is fake. Yeah, but I don't really deal with fake friends. Like if I feel like you're fake, I won't cut you off. That's one thing about me. I ain't gonna cut you off. I'm gonna just kick my distance, not believe that you do watch you i mean i believe you say watch you and just always think twice you know worst zodiac sign that i have dated <sighs> let me think who's my worst boyfriend for one i've never had a bad boyfriend for real so i'm gonna just say the worst sign i've dated is a cancer um yeah, really don't know why, but I feel like that's the worst. Or Leo, because Leos are like very manipulative. I'm just gonna go ahead and go with a Leo. Leos <clears throat> or Sag, okay? I'm Sag. Like all my boyfriends were <clears throat> almost like the best one I've ever had was a um Libra and then a Libra. They were both Libras. Yo, I think my soulmate is a Libra. What I do you want from me? ARs in them two, two, three. Wow, y'all, and I have not plucked it. It looks good. Seriously, no lie. I don't know what I'm doing, but if y'all see something I'm doing wrong, comment it so I can know for next time. <laughs> Shit. Okay. okay, girls that stuck on their ex while they in a relationship. For one, you shouldn't have gotten into that next relationship if you knew you wasn't completely off of them. But, girl, I mean, it is what it is. Like, if you stuck on him and you end that new relationship, you really just need to let him know. Or just end it without letting him know. <laughs> and get back with your ex if possible. If not possible, boss up. Then get back into the relationship if possible, and you'll be fine because you offer your ex, and your new nigga will never know. I mean, that's what I would do as a person, you know, because I don't always do the correct thing. Quite frankly, I barely do the correct thing. camera's about to die, so I'm gonna get back to y'all when I'm done with my edges. Alright, so I shall return in a minute. I'm gonna let this dry. Now, while this is on, I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair. Well, the rest, obviously. Tell your type of nigga, loves, uh, your favorite foods, places you wanna travel. I know you wanna travel. Alright. So, what I like in my type, like, what is my dream girl, period? Like, what's my dream boy? Alright, so. 
for one I really like dreads so either you have dreads or waves And you have to be taller than, you have to be at least 5'7", five, 5'6", five, too short. It used to be 5'6", but now I really prefer 5'7", and up. Um, preferably brown skin, brown skin or darker. Okay, I lied. It's a little, a little much since I bleached it, but. At least not. Um. We okay. You don't have to have straight teeth, but not no crocodile teeth, like just terrible ass teeth. I don't like that. Um. You have to keep up with your stuff, like hygiene. You need to be smelling good. You wear cologne, and you have something going for yourself. I don't like hood boys. Okay, not really. Okay, I don't have a problem with them, but I'm saying like. The hood ones who don't want to get out, or the ones who just so hot head like they just all they want to do is fight and do all this and that, and then don't know how to clean up nice, you know. Don't nobody got time for no dude who just trash, yeah. That's the one. I don't have a type though, like for real, for real. Favorite food places, so fast food. My favorite fast food, honestly, I don't know, like, these past few months, I've been eating so much. Like, I've gained almost 30 pounds. <clears throat> Safe? I don't think so. But, I mean, I've always wanted to gain weight. And my, my mom <clears throat> always told me it's going to catch up to me. So, here I am, low-key fat. Where do I want to travel? I want to go to Dubai. And I want to travel all across the U.S. first. I'm going to work inside and go out. Because I've never been to a lot of places in America. I was going to say in Atlanta. In America that I want to go to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like I look real cute on this camera, but let's go ahead and get into this, the rest of this video, because that's just on period. We should collab. We should collab. Dead serious. Dead serious. That'd be fun. An in person collab, though. Spending money and budgeting. Okay, so me, I am 16 and I pay my car insurance, my phone bill, food, gas, and I buy like my body stuff, clothes. I pretty much, the only thing that, okay, I don't want my parents to get mad at me, but the only thing that they actually do for me is have this house over my head and have me enrolled in school and other things that I can't legally do, you know. Other than that, in my opinion, I feel like, for the most part, I feed myself. Um, I wash my own butt. I pay for my car. And all that. Like, they don't, like, sometimes they do, like, surprise things or buy me things sometimes. But overall, I feel like I do a lot of that. And that causes me to not be able to spread my money and do all this and that. So I do try to budget, but sometimes it works out pretty much pretty goodly, but I do pay a lot of money monthly that a lot of teenagers don't pay monthly. And then, so a lot of other teenagers get to like splurge their money out on like expensive things and do whatever they want to do with their money when I can't, I have to think about other things before I do that. So I have to make a lot more money. To be able to do what I really want to do. But I really do what I want to do now. 
but that's how I budget like I ain't gonna lie to you like I be saving but I don't save for nothing good I save so I can spend it you know what I'm saying like I save my money to where I would be able to spend it on exactly what I want to do you know and that's not good but that's what I do if you don't have no bills to pay then I say you can do whatever you want to do with your money but make sure you do start a savings account so you can save up to the point where um, when you're growing, you can have money left over where you can actually do something with it. Like, you can buy a house with it. I mean, not a house, apartment with it. A car with it. Or do good things with that money. Like, that's what I think schools should really teach kids. Like, they don't teach us nothing about you need to save money so you can pay your bills. You need to pay your bills early or how to build your credit. Because when a kid touches money, it's like they're, they've seen, I don't know, but... It's just crazy how kids react when they get money. But yeah, I'm not going to answer anymore. That's all I'm going to answer right now because I've actually ran out of... I don't know. I'm just really sleepy. And I want to take pictures because I think I look cute. I just need to change my clothes. So hold on. I'm going to be 